Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to part two of our castle learning review. And we are now at question number eight. A light ray is incident on a plane mirror as shown in the diagram below. Which ray best represents the reflected ray? Well, it's basically an easy incident and reflected angle kind of problem. If we look, we know that the according to the law of reflection, we know that the incident angle has to be equal to the reflected angle. So we need to find a ray that will kind of make form the same exact angle. So will this angle work? Would, does this angle match up to that angle formed? Well, I'm not that good at seeing. I, I don't have the best eyesight, but I don't think so. So D is not a choice. So let's look at C. We see this angle. Um, It could work. We don't know. It could work. And they have B. No, that's too tiny. And then we have A. No. Can't be that. So let's go with C. Nice job. Number nine. A beam of monochromatic light passes through parallel sections of glycerol. Uh, um, medium X and medium Y as shown in the diagram below. What could medium X and medium Y be? So let's look at let's look at the angles first. So we see 40 degrees and we see 40 degrees here. Well, what does that mean? Well, if we see that. Doesn't that technically mean that these two will have the same index? But as we see, what else also we need to keep in mind matches with glycerol? Well, corn oil. If we look at the index of refraction, we see corn oil has 1.47 and glycerol has 1.47. So let's now pay more attention to medium X. We see 35 degrees. Okay, so obviously something has changed. What has happened to the speed, guys? Well, since it is nearing towards the medium, the speed has obviously decreased. Okay. So now we're just, we're just left with flint, flint glass. And since we see a glycerol all over here, it can't be water. So we're going to pick number one. X could be flint glass and Y could be corn oil. Nice job. Question number 10. The speed of light in a transparent material is 0.75 times its speed in air. The absolute index of refraction of the material is approximately, well, let's go to our calculators. So we know our C value, which is the speed of light, is 3 times 10 to the 8. 3 times 10 to the 8. We're going to divide by that by 0.75 because remember, it said 0.75 times the speed of air. So just 0.75 times 3 times 10 to the 8. And we get 1.33333. And guys, just for kicks, what index of refraction does this relate to? If you said water, you're correct. So we have 1.3. Let's type, put that in. Woo! Question 11. A light ray with a frequency of 5.09 times 10 to the 14 hertz traveling in an air is incident at an angle of 40 degrees on an air-water interface as shown. At the interface, part of the ray is refracted as it enters the water and part of the ray is reflected from the interface. If air, water, right over here, 40 degrees. So which of the following diagrams correctly shows the reflected ray in the and the refracted ray? Okay, so obviously we know there's going to be some reflection involved. And yeah, all of some reflection reflection involved but we ha know that the reflective angle has to be equal to 40 degrees so we can easily eliminate question number four okay so we also know that the refracted ray has to be less than this angle due to the change in mediums so number one will not work Number three will, in fact, work. This demonstrates refraction. Let's click on that. Nice job. 
Number 12, a ray of monochromatic light is incident on an air-sodium chloride boundary, as shown in the diagram below. At the boundary, part of the ray is reflected back into the air, and part is refracted as it enters the sodium chloride. Compared to the ray's angle of refraction in the sodium chloride, the ray's angle of reflection in the air has to be larger. Nice. Question number 13. The diagram below represents straight wave runs passing from deep water into shallow water with a change in speed and direction. Which phenomenon is illustrated in the diagram? We see deep water. We see shallow water. Okay, so let's get rid of the things that we definitely know are not going to be true. So interference. Well, we haven't talked about that. Diffraction, we haven't talked about that really. So now we're left with refraction and reflection. So we see the deep water. So it's wave fronts passing from deep water into shallow water with a change in speed and direction. Remember, it says speed and direction. What changes speed and direction? Well, refraction. Let's go click on that. Refraction. Nice job. Question number 14. The speed of light in a piece of plastic is 2 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. What is the absolute index of refraction of this plastic? Well, go to your reference table and you will find an equation of n equals c over v. When we're solving for the uh, index of refraction, we're just going to do 3 times 10 to the 8 all over or 2 times 10 to the 8. And we get 1.5. Nice. In which way does blue light change as it travels from diamond into crown, crown glass? So we notice that diamond has 2.42 and crown glass has, let's see, uh, 1.52. So which is greater? Well, of course, diamond. So as it goes from diamond into crown glass, the velocity will, sorry, the speed will increase number 16 the diagram below represents a light ray reflecting from a plain mirror the angle of reflection for the light ray is okay so we're solving for reflection first when we get these types of problems we have to always remember to draw our medium which bisects the angle and degrees so here's that. So 90 minus 65, what is that? 90 minus 65, we have 25. 25 degrees, angle of reflection. Nice job. Okay, we are in one of these problems. Graphs, everyone loves this. Everyone loves these. Okay. Not. A ray of light travels through various substances. Which graph best represents the relationship between the absolute index of refraction of these substances and the corresponding speed of light in these substances? Okay. So, right off the bat, we know that as the absolute index of refraction increases, the speed will decrease. Does that ring a bell to anyone? Well... I sense an inverse relationship right there. So uh, right over here, index of refraction increases when the speed will decrease. Nice. Question number 18. A ray of ye yellow light travels at a speed of 2.04 times 10 to the 8 meters per second in, well, all we just have to really do is take our um, average light velocity in a vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8, over 2.04 times 10 to the 8. And we get 1.47. So let's go to a reference table. 1.47 IC equals wrong. Nice. Number 19, a stationary police officer directs radio waves emitted by a radar gun, a vehicle a moving toward 